Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 41st tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about three more string functions. The first one is the substring or the sub str function and uh, then we are going to talk about the right and left uh, functions which are you know just uh, simple variations of uh, the substring function. And uh, the substring function as the name suggests is used to get you know a part of the string. Right, so if you've got a long string and if you just want to display a part of it on the screen to the user, then you could use the substring function to get that part. Right, so I'll just demonstrate the function to you. So I'll type in select first, and uh, then the name of the function, which is sub str. Right, so sub and then str is a short form for string and then within parentheses you'll have to type in your string first it takes in three arguments the substring function the first one is the string and the second argument is the offset position and the third argument is the number of characters that you want starting from your offset position right so if suppose i have a string like uh, i need a break right if this is my string and if I want to get the word need out of the string, then I'll have to determine my offset position first. And the offset position is basically the position of the characters from where you want to start chopping off the string, right? So uh, I is the first character, right? And then you've got a space after I, so the space character is the second character, and then N is the third character, right? So if you want the word need, then your offset position for, for, for the word need is going to be three. So you type in that, and then you put in a comma and uh, the third argument as i said is the number of characters that you want beginning from your offset position so in this case since i need the word need you know need has got four alphabets so i'll type in four here as the third argument right so i'll put a semicolon when i execute this i just see the word need i don't see the rest of the words in the string right and uh, similarly if you need the word uh, break let's say then you'll have to first determine what's the position of the alphabet b in the string so i is first then the space here is second n is three and then e4 e5 d6 7 8 9 and then b is 10 right so i'll have to get 10 here as the offset position and since the word break has five characters i'll have to put in five here instead of four when i would execute the string uh, this query i would get break as the result right so this is the substring function and it's very useful and very popular and you would use it a lot trust me on that and uh, you know if you want to get portions from your strings that are you know at the ends right so in this case break is the last word in the string so if you just needed break and you didn't want to use a substring function because substring function can be you know tricky to use because you know you have to determine the offset position in this case the string was small so we you know easily conveniently found out the position of the alphabet b in the string but otherwise you would have to first use a length function and then count the number of characters from the end and you know it gets complicated to count uh, you know, or estimate the offset position in long strings, right? So if you know that you have to get portions from the end, like in this case, we know that break is the rightmost word in the string. So <coughs> we could use the right function instead, right? So with the right function, you don't have to use, uh, you don't have to supply the offset position as an argument. You could just, you know, uh, mention right since it is a function, you know, it the function takes in portions from strings that you know are at the rightmost so in this case break is the rightmost uh, word and uh, five characters would be taken from you know beginning from the right so k a e r and b these are the five rightmost characters and they would be chopped off and displayed so and i would execute the query this is what i would get and uh, you know you also have the left function you know to get in the leftmost uh, portion from the string so you type in left and let's say you need uh, you know i need you need that phrase so i and space two characters and then need is four so you type in six here so you would get the phrase i need there right so that's it about the substring right and left functions and thank you so much for watching this tutorial in the next tutorial, we'll uh, discuss a few more string functions and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, take care.